team. Freak, make sure that everyone arrives safely at the hotel and we will meet at dawn. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, no drinking. See anything you like? Actually, I do. Want to maybe go somewhere? Have a drink or something? Well. Oh, you're such an idiot. Fine. Mira, I'm sorry. I didn't. I was just trying. So. What work do you do? Didn't your mom tell you? Yeah, but I want to hear it in your words. It's you and Art. You're right. Look, why did you come here? What makes you think I'd want to see you? I don't know you. I don't need a daddy anymore. You've had your chance. I like purple. <laughs> what? I like purple. And I like cheesecake too. Okay. But most of all, I love museum. And as a matter of fact, I just saw a sign back there that said there's a, an exhibit in town that I've always wanted to see. Why don't we go take a look? What for? Well, the sign said it's at the Metropolitan Museum. Metropolitan Museum. Okay, so how far is it? It's probably closed, or whatever. See? The Star of Nefertiti. It's the world's largest diamond. Listen, I'm from out of town, I'm an art dealer, and I don't have an appointment, but I was wondering if I could talk to the curator. Oh. Here. Give her this, and I'm sure she's gonna see me. All right, but I'm still gonna have to ask. Billy, lock the door. Yes, sir. Thank you. What? Here's a sleazeball. You bribed him, didn't you? Hey, I love magic shows. But only the good ones, you know. Ooh, and Italian food with lots of garlic. Do you always avoid questions you don't like? Ooh, tiramisu. I love that stuff. What are we doing here? Listen, all I want to do is talk to the curator before she leaves. You go to the bathroom and you meet me in the car. Hey, I'm not five anymore, right? I'll be right back. Well, that's it, folks. I just wanted to show you this one last painting on the way out. This is a uh, Crystal, done in 1956, and she was actually at her uh, home in Providence, Rhode Island, where she painted that. It's called Stormy Night. And that concludes our tour. I hope you enjoyed everything. If you want to follow me over here. Here you go. Thank you, ma'am. No problem. <laughs> it's your first night. It's going to be a long one. You'll need it. Gerald to Miss Finley. 
Gerald? What can I do for you? We got a visitor who uh, asked to speak with you. He said to make it brief. His name is Reginald Tarmac from Paris, France. Reginald? He said to make it brief. Sorry. Hi. I was wondering if you'd seen that display that they're talking about. If it was worth coming back to see. Uh, you mean the Star of Nefertiti thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's not on display yet, but wait till you see it. I, I got to see it when it arrived. It was... <laughs> Everybody quiet, please! Okay, rule number one. Don't move. <laughs> what did I just say? I said, what did, what did I say, freaks? You said not to move. Don't move. <clears throat> Certainly, do not try to escape. Because if you try to escape, you have to move. And what did I say? Fritz, what did I say again? Uh, you said not to move. Now go, find somebody else. Maybe somebody else wants to move. Are we clear? say move, you move, so come over here. That's far enough. Take your jacket off. Cells. No problem, Martos. They got explosive. Oh, doors. Get the safe. Did I tell you to blow them up? Look, they locked themselves in the antechamber. They could have called the cops or escaped. 
All right, guys, that blast may have alerted the cops. So make sure that the building is clear, all right? Grace, Zeal, make these fine citizens at that beautiful window more useful, just in case. Okay, oh, and get somebody, please, get rid of these bodies. I mean, what are we, savages? Let's move it up against the window. This is the entrance to the vault? You made this mess. You clean it up. You heard him, boys. Let's clean this up. Brian? You know my name? My name is Mila. Mila Vadden. You must have jailed her, right? No. Not really. I I, I just started. I'm I'm pretty new here. Shh. Some men broke into the vault. We're stuck here outside. No way out. Good guys are bad. Mm. Let's get back further into the vault. Shouldn't we wait? Better safe than sorry. Could be the good guys. <clears throat> Fricks, not to sweat. The general said one way prep, and then we have our share of the star and everything we carry out of this damn vault. Sounds good to me. Yeah, but do you really think he meant everything we can carry in steel and concrete? Shut up and work. Okay, you two, clear those rocks. Come on. Get. Trim. Trim. Get down here. Yeah, wait. Once they're clear, you're gonna get that guard key. Grace, double check the parameter defenses. Ew. 
too. Keep an eye on those hostages. Go! Now! Somebody, please, kill an alarm! Help! Roger that, sir. Martos. Okay, signal gone. Martos. Martos. You what? I get a new code key every morning. This one only lasts till 7. 7 o'clock? Yes. As in 7 p.m. tonight? You're gonna be kidding me! That is, what, 45 minutes oh, from now? It's okay. It's, it's okay. not okay. It's okay. I just need to get the second card key from the control room. It shouldn't take that long, okay? Well, why didn't you tell me this before? Because we agreed we would do this after closing when there's hardly any people here. Is this entertaining for you? So get back to work! Now! God, an alarm! Jesus! Of the alarm. Where's the best place for someone to set up the alarm? In the control room. He's in the control room. Uh, okay, guys, let's go! Work! Come on! Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Come on, where are the cops? There must be a way to open this. No, no way. Well, I don't hear the alarm anymore. Uh, it wouldn't be a very safe safe if it wasn't airtight. Uh, that sound, it's oxygen being vacuumed out. Preserves the art, airtight. Yeah, but how do we breathe? Uh, 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 this should be an air tank. Brian. Come, put your hand here. Come on. Ah. Right, right here. Mm. Okay. Uh. Warning, no internal air supply. In case of emergency, utilize emergency oxygen tanks. Two hours. And use emergency intercom system. Well, they should get us out of here in two hours, right? That's two. We're three. Yeah, possibly two. Your father needs both card keys to open the vault. One's in the control room. The curate has the other. She has the code. Sorry. Yeah, it's me. Well, we had a setback. It's the vault. No, it's closed. That's no problem. We got everything under control, right? Okay? You look okay. We have maybe an hour left in here. If you can't get us out, we'll be dead in an hour. This vault is airtight. We have an hour, that's it. Damn. Mila, everything's gonna be all right. I'll get you out. And Gerald says that we need two car keys. 
One of them's in the control room, and and we need the curator's code. Right, Brian? I got it. I get who's got the other key? The curator, Helen, somebody. And she has the code. I'll get you out of there. I, I promise. Brian, man, take care of her. Get us into the vault. I could, but we need the car key to get into the vault. You don't get know. us into that vault. Martos, when you came to me, you you said it was going to be a quick job. You said disable the control room guard and that you come in quietly and take care of the rest. I did my part. You said nothing about about alarms and and explosions and gun crazed killers wiping out my staff and customers. In less than a week, I managed to get half a dozen reasonably good men, an army's worth of weapons, transport, and even a boat to get us safely out of the country. So, Helen, it would be so very terribly kind if you could get us into that vault! So do we have a plan B? No, we don't have a plan B because the vault wasn't supposed to close, now was it? We need that card key within the next 30 minutes. Well, I guess the person who set off the alarm has got the card key then, haven't they? Helen, did you see anyone in the main room? No, sir. So, so where is he? Get in there! Get in! Moving west from the control room. I want a perimeter defense set up on all sides of this building. SWAT takes Eagle Eye. All officers in one by one cover formation. I don't want a mouse to get out without my say so. Donnie? Donnie? Yes, Commander sir. that shop, set up base camp, establish calm. 
Aye, aye, Set the boundary first. I don't want a copter or press band within 10 miles of this area. Oh, and if anyone fires without my say so, they're gonna walk the beat for the rest of his or her career. Get it? Got it? Go get it, people. Let's go! Don't you move! Ah! Check if those two idiots are alive. This bastard's mine. All entrance is secure, General Matos. We're ready for them. Go check the escape route. General Matos, there are a lot of cops outside. They're starting to surround the building. Thank you for that supreme bit of intelligence, Seal. specifically said that no one is to fire without my permission. Please go find out who fired that weapon Come on. now. Let's go. I'm gonna get these people out of here, Mills, now. Ford's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard. Well, what about the guy? Where's the car key? Fritz went after them. Who is this guy? And why does he need my key? Forty minutes. Trim. My cue. You know what to do. Keep your eyes forward. Orlando Art Museum, can I help you? This is Detective Austin of the Central City Police. Are you in charge here? Hold on. Central City Police outside. Surprise, surprise. Hello, hello. Are you in charge? Yes, I am. Can we talk? Sure, let's talk. Um, what about you stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours? Trim, now.
Oops, just stay out of my way, detective. We'll be done here shortly. Piers, Piers, over here, please. Right here, sir. This is our way in. All right, look, I'm ready for your people, yes? But look, I cannot afford for anyone else to get killed, so my question to you is, how close can you get us? Let's put it this way. How close do you want them to be, sir? It's close enough to feed them their next meal in jail. We can do that for you, sir. All right, then get to it, go. Did you get it? No. Son of a way. Fell down some shaft into the sewer. Did you bring the C4? Never leave home without it. You know what? We do have a plan B. Okay, plan B. Here we come. Let's go, guys. Move away from the exit. I'm gonna need that car key. Hand it over. Come on. Carefully, okay? There and there. Unbelievable. Frakes, how much of that C4 did you bring? We can take out a whole city block if you want me to. Good. Give it to Trim. Take over his post. Shoot everything that moves. Yeah. Trim, get down here. Meet me in Alice's office, okay? Okay, one meter. Ah, give or take. It's okay, trim. Four feet straight down from here. You think you can rig the floor to blow? No, General Sir, there ain't nothing too big for me to blow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> never mind. Yeah. How long is it gonna take? About an hour. You have 30 minutes. Half an hour. Bartos. Yeah. Um, what is he doing, and how exactly will that help us? Okay, now, if we don't find the key in time, I'm gonna blow up the vault. You do that and everything will be blown to hell and back. Yeah, I'll take my chances. If we don't find that key, we won't get the star. But the vault was designed to be practically impregnable. There's no way no, that no, you no, can... No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Imagine this being the vault. They make vault doors very sturdy. Out of solid, poor metal, no defects whatsoever, practically impregnable. Exactly. The side of the vault, however, has seams in the metal. Exert just the right amount of pressure and gone. Well, the people and the paintings inside will burn, but the star will survive. And maybe a few other little trinkets too. For you, my darling. So 
Somebody cut off these lines! Frigs, did you hear that? Going dead in three, two, no more calls. Fifteen minutes left. Come on. Would you stop looking at the time every five minutes? Come sit down. Hi. Do you want me to hold it? No, I'm comfortable with it. So you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> well, not to this one. No. Yeah. But to the city, yes. I work on projects offshore. So I... Oh, that sounds silly. Sillier than working in a gift shop? I'm a treasure hunter. <laughs> You're right. What? It does sound silly. Really? 300 years, pirates have been sailing off the keys. And well, they crashed on the reefs. And only half the treasure's ever been found. I'm finding the rest. Doesn't it belong to somebody? Oh, no. America, I guess. <laughs> so you're a grave robber. Something of a thief. <laughs> a thief? Hmm. Whoever you are, come out very slowly. Grace, what on earth are you doing here? The son of a armed my gun, bested me and locked me in the tunnel. Bested you? Grace, that guy is good. <clears throat> he took the keys to the sewer exit. He took the keys. He took the keys. How exactly are we going to escape now? Through the ventilation system? I'm going to kill that man. Do not move. Great, I'm, I'm more- I said don't move. Okay, I'm one of the ostriches. I need you up here, Gary. <laughs> Sir, take the knife out and put it slowly on the ground. Okay, okay, here you go, for good faith. All right, I'm on the same side, ma'am. Here you go, I, I also have a gun. Hey, hey, don't move! Are you okay? What? <laughs> Come on, Pat. It's go time. Stop. Take him to the lieutenant. What were you guys punching at, anyways? Okay, B, is we ready to go? Almost, sir. Who's this? We found him on the roof with this. His ID says Kennedy Coludes. Look, man, I need to Here, go check this out. What were you doing on the roof? I was in the museum when eight or nine people came in with guns. I got lucky, I escaped. We're ready to go, we're on standby. Okay, okay, I repeat, go, everyone go, set, get ready to go. Look, man, my daughter, is trapped in that vault, and they have maybe 45 minutes of it. Look, Mr. Kaludis, I don't... Kaludis, Kaludis. Mr. Kaludis, I don't know if what you're telling me is true or not, but in a few moments, everything will be resolved. What? They got major weapons. Look, someone just take him to the van, please. 
What? The guy's not in that case! Get him out of here. Don't be like that! He's gonna kill everybody! Sir, what if he was telling the truth about the weapons? Look, odds are he's either one of them trying to scare us into inaction, or he's a civilian who doesn't know a 9 millimeter from an anti-aircraft gun. Either way, we go in. Austin for beers? And if he is telling the truth, it's what we train for, right? We'll get him out, his daughter will be safe. Yes? Beers, I repeat, go, go at will. Who the hell let that chopper in? Someone get that chopper out of here now! Go, go, go! Okay, everyone, time to party. What do you know, guys? All right, guys, we have 10 minutes to find that guy and the key before the code changes. Look, someone give me a status report, please. Sir, do you want me to radio for backup? There's no word yet on the chopper crew yet, sir. Look, just find out what happened to the ground crew and those people in that chopper, yes? Detective Austin. Sir, what, are you doing? what the what, hell what, is going on here? No, 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 keep your seat. What are you doing here, sir? What am I doing here? Well, I'll tell you, Lenny. I am not going down in history as the one man who let a major museum and the star of Nefertiti get hijacked. Sir, you gotta No, 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 buts. I am in charge here, and I want to know everything as it happens. Do you got that? Yes, sir. Good. Now, where do we stand? Look, I have everything under control. I have a number of men on the roofs and the alleyways surrounding the building. I have an unknown number of perps in the building, maybe eight or nine. We just attempted an insertion, which was... It was aborted. Aborted? Yeah, I'm waiting on a body count, sir. Body count? Sir. They're all dead, sir. The whole Chopper News team, one SWAT team member as well. We got about a dozen wounded on the ground, two of them pretty bad. Yeah, but we did capture perps from the building, yes? No, sir. We may have shot a hostage. Under control, is it? Well, I'm damn glad to know that, detective. Now, how do you know there are only eight or nine of them? Because we captured one of the perps on the roof, and we have him in custody, yes? No, he escaped. I want to talk to him. Find him. Okay, look, everyone, listen up. Prisoner escaped. I want everyone looking for a Caucasian male, uh, early 40s, about six foot one. Uh, he has dark hair, dark eyes, uh, wearing a. And he's armed. Is there anything else, Mills? No, that's it for now. Who's the guy in the picture? Who? Your wallet. That's my father. Did you get along with your father? Actually, yeah. What about you? Did you get along? Didn't have much of a chance to get along. I have a few memories, though. 
He disappeared when I was five. You know, he called me last week out of the blue. After 15 years. My mom wanted me to meet up with him, so I did. Great advice, considering he's the one that's got us locked in here. <coughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, give me one second. Trim, how long? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Well, we're going to have to blow it. I understand, but we have only one key, and that code is no longer valid. The only way in is to blow it. Okay. He's a con. What is it? Oh. Real name Kennedy Van Doren, aka Kennedy Coludis, Manuel Campagna, Isaiah Kahn, Daniel E. Springen, Corey J. Born to Belgian parents in New York, first infraction at age 10. Yep, age 10. For picking pockets, second at age 12. Had a child out of wedlock as a teenager, last seen in the US 15 years ago. He's been a prime suspect in many cases, however, never convicted because the police can never find the goods. He screwed up and skipped the country on his last one. You can get into and out of anywhere, says it's like magic, quote, unquote. I mean, you name it, sir, this guy's nicked it. You know, art mainly. <laughs> we'll be famous when we catch this guy. Don't you mean when you uh, catch him again? He must really want to get in there. Look, I have to get in there. My daughter is trapped in that vault and she was running out of air. Please believe me, I can get her out. Tell me how you did that before in the fighting. What? Well, I saw where you were, but the guys. Misdirection. What? Misdirection, you, you know the guys that do the card tricks that make you believe they have something in one end and actually everything's going on in the other hand? Misdirection, same thing. Look. Lady, I'm, I'm tired. I don't have much of a plan. I have to get in and try to get my daughter. It's my last chance. Please believe me. You're telling the truth. <laughs> you almost got me there. Master Thief Kennedy Kaludas, huh? Almost. Ah, Mr. Van Doren. It's colludes. What? Colludes. We seem to have spoiled your little heist. Do you see anything about killing people in there? Explosions? Do you? I'm Raymond Anderson. Police Chief Raymond Anderson, actually. Why don't you tell me what you saw in there tonight? Oh, you can take those. Sorry. If you weren't trying to set this thing up, then why were you trying to get back in there? My daughter and an employee are stuck in that vault. Wait, 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 wait. What, what employee? I don't know, some guy, it's young, dark hair. He's a good looking kid, actually. I think his name is uh, Brian. But in about 20 minutes, they're gonna run out of it anyways. And before that happens, this lunatic general is planning to blow it up so he can get to the star of Nefertiti collection. Unless, unless he... Oh, slowly. Okay, unless he gets this card key to open it. I can save her, them with this. Wait, wait a minute, you were trying to rescue them? Then why didn't you just give this general the key, have him open up the vault and let him go? No way. If you'd witnessed several people getting butchered just for trying to take cover, just for pleading for mercy, you wouldn't be thinking that he'd be lenient on anybody's life, especially not your kid. No, man. Listen, I'm more confident that I can go in there and rescue her and this kid, and this kid than I'm willing to believe that this lunatic is gonna spare anybody's life after it's done in there. With this, I'm in control. Listen, I, I know I'm a thief, 
but I'm a great thief. I've never met a safe I couldn't break. Look, sir, look, I don't believe a word of this. Even if what he says is true, we have already tried an insertion. You saw the results. I cannot risk my men again. I don't need any help. You stay out of this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We already have hostages look, inside, Look, sir. look, if we let you inside, if we let you inside alone, can you open up the vault and save them? Yes. Get me my tools. You promise to let me go after? Nope. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Believe me, uh, as a father, I, I can understand your plight. But you're hardly in the position to uh, negotiate, don't you think? Will you go in and get them out? Yes, yes, yes. Give him his tools. Wait a minute. That young man in there with your daughter, that's my son. I'm Sorry. counting on you. The key. Hold your breath, guys. What do you want to do for the next 18 minutes of our lives? <laughs> okay, well. Just five more minutes, sir. Oh, do you want a timer or a radio trigger? Trigger. Yes. No, we go on in five. Oh, really? In the vault? <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, hey, well, then we wait. Fricks and Zill, I got a job for you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa. Give me an excuse. Put your hands up. I need to talk to your boss. I can get you into the vault. Yeah, we know you can. You're a bigger thief than any of us. All right. We'll take you to jail. One thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Zill, get in here.
So, are we ready? All set. Just take this trigger, push the little button, boom. Excellent. <laughs> Al, Fricks, what's the word on our guest? Al. Where is everybody? Now the trick you see is getting her to blow down, not out. Whoa! Easy with the detonator, guys. Come on! Trim, am I rich? I'm almost there, sir. Let me see the plans for that building. There. We've got to find another way in here. Okay, look. I want you to go tell me that no one else got hurt in that blast. Do you understand me? Go, Mills, go, now. Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, I knew we shouldn't have let that guy back in there. What you done with the place? Same question, Trim. Am I rich? Do you see the vault? No, sir. No, I can see the vault ceiling, but <laughs> we're gonna need another blast. <laughs> Damn it! Set it up! Set it up now! Hey, Seal, can you find us a way out of this hellhole? He's dead. Then you go. I robbed a museum with a safe cracker in it. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> Son of a <sighs> so learn ya. You stay right there, sweetheart. And don't come out until I say so. What the hell is this? Some pages are missing, guys. Can someone get me some reliable information in here, please? And what would I open a vault for you? For that lovely daughter of yours, right there. She won't survive my way. Look, man, we both have things in there that we'd rather don't harm. And if I were you, I will go first, because for what I understand, they only have 50 minutes left of air in there. Oh, man. <laughs>
Mr. Master Thief. Shit. I guess I'm one too. You just lost your daughter. Son of a bitch! Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Just one more minute, sir. Look badly. Oh, like I need another challenge. Ready to go. Uh. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Timer set for 60 seconds, sir? Yes. You got it. Um, uh, just one more moment. Oh, come on! All right. Seven zero four six eight. Mark. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Now, of course, it had to be a nine. One seven zero four six nine. Okay. <coughs> uh, 
and came back. Why? You know those, um, very big pretzels that you find only in New York? I love these things. I just love them. I, I don't know why, but how about you? We still have to go. We gotta go. Come. Brian? Oh, come on now. Wake up. Somebody redecorated. <laughs> That's it. That's it, man. <laughs> Shoot. See? Now that's what I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody just got a new skylight. <laughs> okay, find the stone and the rest of the collection. There's only one body. Prem, you take her. Very good, Brian. Glad to see you finally become useful. But uh, aim your gun at the thief, please. Mr. Kennedy Lutis, put down your gun. Brian? You were gonna kill me, you bastard. <laughs> Some treasure, isn't it? Sure is. Oysters. And my favorite color is purple, too. I like fat boy slim mixes and chocolate. You better go. I'll keep in touch. What we gotta do, we got forensics down there? No. Not yet. Just don't touch anything. Now we got three bodies here. A whole lot more cases, sir. Somebody must have gotten out alive. No! This one of their cell phones is ringing.
sorry. I'm sorry, Brian. Yeah, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So there's that missing page. I think you have something that belongs to me. Gevlar, lifesaver. The diamond. Thank you. Put a knife. Put your knife. Before we go to end this, I actually must thank you. Because you wiped out my whole crew, I don't have to share. <laughs> so hey, the beautiful thing of this whole massacre is that there's nobody gonna miss you. Sit down. 